following program is programmed into many markets. We thank our programmers for making this possible. We invite you to watch now, Cheering Makes School Fun, produced by Jim W. Hawkins, bringing you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and more. Right here on your local cable station. It's produced by Jim W. Hawkins. Give us a call at the number shown on the screen with your ideas. This program brings you news of cheerleaders in front of the camera. Behind the scenes, how they do it. And with faculty members and others that like to get involved in school spirit also. Plus, wonderful citizens like Carol Lee on Amtrak who take their school spirit with them as they go. We give thanks to you for your prayers and supports for this program and invite you to support the program by giving us a call at the number address shown at the beginning of the end of each show. Hi, it's Jim Lee Hawkins from San Diego High School, home of the Cavers, presenting a special treat for you from the World Fair put on by Principal Tony Amperon and the ASB and all the clubs are involved. We are meeting some of the people here enjoying the music from San Diego High School, so stay with us. Hi, this is Jim Hawkins from Cheering Week School Fun, and I wonder what's with the bright and cheery clothes today? I can't hear you. I said, what's, uh, what, what are you wearing the bright cheery clothes for today? It looks nice, so I just try it on. Hi, ah, you just get to try it on. What is uh, going on down here at San Diego High today? What's going on at San Diego High today? Oh, I'm not from San Diego High. Oh, you're not? I'm not. <laughs> Where are you from? Okay. Howdy, Jim Hawkins from Cheering Mix School Fun TV Show. And you are? Liliana. And tell me, Liliana, uh, what are you doing with the money box and the uh, pictures and everything? Uh, what's that for today? The money we are taking is for school to the club for um, La Mujer Latina en Nación. That sounds great. What uh, What's some activities you do once you get the money? What's some of the activities this money will help uh, the school do? to do more programs, events, and to have a students. Oh, what a fun school. I guess maybe I'll have to turn the clock back to 67 and return here so I can have some more fun in my life. Um, it's like to more people come to the class and invite more people to come to Mujer Latina in a soon. Okay, well, thanks for being our guest on Cheering Make School Fun. I say I'm Jim Hawkins from Cheering Make School Fun TV show. And I wonder what uh, what is uh, it like to be in the JORTC at San Diego High? What life is? I say, what is it like? What kind of program do you offer in your JORTC program? Biggest thing is for the kids is what we call self-esteem, so that they can work on themselves and grow up from a kid that's coming to the ninth grade until a young man graduating or young woman graduating out of high school. Gives them a little bit of sense of responsibility. Uh, a lot of citizenship and preparation for the inevitable, which is the outside world. Great. Those are one of the exciting things that's happening here at San Diego High School. Not only today with the World Fair, but with ROTC, J-O-R-O-T-C. And uh, do you do parades? We do a lot of parades, especially at the beginning of the school year. We get involved with parades for color guards, such as uh, San Diego State University's uh, initial parade at the beginning of the school year. Then we follow up with the Veterans Day Parade and various parades after that throughout the school year for local organizations and programs here in the San Diego City area. Well, I want to thank you for your hard effort on behalf of the students and your great program here at San Diego High. Thank you very much. And from the ROTC to all the students, we thank them all. <laughs> well, what are you cooking today? We're cooking clips. They're really thin pancakes. They're very good. Is that anything to do with the French Club, particularly? Is that French trip? Um, we do, we plan trips. We investigate the French culture. It's really interesting. 
think you'll raise a lot of money today so you can have some great activities, maybe a trip to France or something? I think we raised a fair amount of money. Actually, we're raising money for a trip to go to L.A. to the Getty Museum. That's great. I'll have to try one of these. Yeah. Boy, we have an active group here. Boy, we have an active group here. What do you do at San Diego High School? I'm just a student trying to graduate. <laughs> One of the few that's graduating. <laughs> What about you? What do you like to do at San Diego High School? Basketball player. Yeah, I play basketball, but I'm just like her, struggling, trying to get out of high school, trying to go to college. Oh. <laughs> You're into sports at San Diego High School? Yeah, I go to San Diego High School. My name is Drew Foster. Uh, I play football and basketball here. I uh, plan on going to college. Well, I will be going to college, hopefully Oregon University. Um, you know, do my thing, go out there and shine. About three or four years, I should be in the NFL, making millions of dollars. Making millions, you gonna give me some money too. Yeah, man. Send the homegirls out to the game. Yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> I've been leaving for the Air Force July 5th. We got it. Okay, well, it's really great to see you guys again. It's been a long time since we've uh, seen you on camera. So good luck with your future endeavors here from San Diego High School. Though you want to tell us what morph is? What is a morph? What is a morph dance that you're going to have tonight? Morph is uh, prom spelled backwards, and it's everything that prom isn't. It's really tacky, and and our budget is almost zero. So it's everything the opposite of prom. Well, that sounds exciting. Are you gonna have a good turnout? I hope so. I think we're set. we've sold 120 so far, and we'll get some more at the door. Great. We appreciate your effort to help the cavers here at San Diego High School by selling tickets to the more. Say, what is the key club? A magic uh, club that you get to key, key the key, lock yourself safely in a classroom? Not exactly. Key club stands for Kiwanis Educating Youth. Kiwanis is our sponsoring club. What we do is community service um, throughout the whole year. How did your sales go today at your booth? I'm sorry? How did your sales go today at your booth? Oh, we sold out very quickly. We hit did um, really well for ourselves today. Our president, I believe, is somewhere around here. This is our advisor. She was working the whole time. Hi. Uh, tell me, how long has Ski Club been around San Diego High? Do you have any idea? They've been at San Diego High, I think, for 54 years now. And uh, I took it over five years ago and it's that's pretty good because the whole club's been around for only 75 and we've been at San Diego High for 54 so that's a long time it's nice to keep things like that going uh, key clubs uh, international project isn't it so if you go to high schools overseas or someplace like that would you like to find if you went to high schools overseas and places yeah. like that okay, 19 would you find countries them too? around the world 19 countries it's pretty worldwide um, we actually happen to be in the largest district, <laughs> the largest district in the whole international chain of clubs is the California, Nevada, Hawaii clubs. So it's nice to be part of such a big thing. Well, congratulations on being the advisor of a great club and having a lot of good students you can look back on and say, I knew them when they were a student and look at them today. He <laughs> club so made them way. president. <laughs> And we have another student with us at the World Fair, and she is? Marquita Akron. And tell me, what do you do here at the uh, cave? Hmm? What do you do here at the cave at San Diego High? Everything that's possible. <laughs> what does your booth do today? Oh, we're selling it for yearbook class, trying to raise money to pay off our yearbook funds. <laughs> oh, great. Great. Uh, what are you going to do after you graduate from San Diego High School? I'm going to USC. I'm going to USC. Oh, great. We took a group of fine San Diego High students there on a tour. Um, I think it was about a week ago while the Site 9 students had their uh, testing. And they had some really good recruiters there. Did you get to talk to someone or did you make the decision on your own? Hmm? Did you get to talk to the recruiters out there or did you make the decision on your own? I talked to some of the recruiters. Okay, well, thanks a lot for helping make San Diego better and showing us a lot of school spirit. Looks like we've spotted a San Diego High caver 
ASB member, right? Right. And what is your position on ASB? In ASB, I'm the freshman class president for this year, and um, it's kind of the same as being an, an active ASB member. Class presidents just have a different agenda to follow. And uh, what is this you're carrying with you? Um, this is our money box for the freshman class um, fundraiser that we're kind of going on right now for World Fair. Um, our country that we chose was Japan, and we tried to do something that was involved with it. We chose um, a bunch of video games to play, because, you know, that's where mo mainly, mostly, most of the video games come from. And so, right now we're having Mortal Kombat 4. It's a competition where you pay a dollar for admi admission, and then if you win three games, you go to the championship, and then out of that, the champion wins um, around $5. Thank you so much. And thank you for telling us a little bit more about San Diego High and ASB. And so I think why a lot of people say, why do you come all the way from San Diego, Mr. Hawkins, or Jim, as I prefer? Um, um, that's why I say uh, to a lot of people, I come all the way from San Diego to Oceanside every week, or actually it comes to about three times a week now, maybe four times if we get another group started. And um, I enjoy doing it because of the smallness of the congregation. Everyone knows everybody. And they give you that good support. Um, I was wondering, um, how many people do you think ideally you could get into your youth group? I think if we get enough people to spread the word, we could get roughly 40 to 50 people. That'd be great. We'd love to see it. And um, just uh, in case people are wondering what kind of oddball you are, which I don't think you are, <laughs> uh, what kind of courses are you taking? Um, I am taking English, literature, physiology, economics. I am a teacher's assistant. Uh, I take MCJROTC. Honors Choir, and ROTC Drill. Well, that's great. You're a real asset to our community. And um, a little secret was she didn't get to go to that first dance we talked about a little bit a while ago. And why was that? Um, my family was moving, so I was trying to help out. <laughs> family comes first, huh? Sometimes. Okay, well, it's been great visiting with you. Would you like to invite the people personally to come join your new group if they happen to be high school age? Okay. You could meet us at 204 South Freeman, and it's for anyone between 9th through 12th grade. We meet every Sunday at 7 o'clock, so I hope to see you there. Okay, well, that sounds really great, and I want to thank you, Nadrina, for being our guest today on Cheering Makes School Fun on the portion of the show that talks about youth in the community. So you've seen youth in the community cheering, you've seen youth in the community with uh, church activities. There's a great, both are great ways to be involved in your community. So take it to heart and say yes to doing your best. <laughs>
tuned to many markets. We thank our programmers for making this possible. We invite you to watch now, Cheering Makes School Fun, produced by Jim W. Hawkins, bringing you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and more. Right here on your local cable station. It's produced by Jim W. Hawkins. Give us a call at the number shown on the screen with your ideas. This program brings you news of cheerleaders in front of the camera. Behind the scenes, how they do it. And with faculty members and others that like to get involved in school spirit also. Plus, wonderful citizens like Carol Lee on Amtrak who take their school spirit with them as they go. We give thanks to you for your prayers and supports for this program and invite you to support the program by giving us a call at the number address shown at the beginning of the end of each show. Howdy, I'm your host and producer Jim W. Hawkins for Cheering Makes School Fun. Welcome to the third and final part of the Half Marathon Run for 2005, featuring America's finest cheerleaders, the Chula Vista High Spartan Cheerleaders. Let's get started. And look what we found here on the racetrack. We found two of America's finest cheerleaders, the Chula Vista High. Spartans. Spartans. <laughs> right, the Spartans. Not to be confused with any other substitute brand. You think uh, you'll have this kind of spirit uh, left the time football season gets here? Oh yeah, oh, we're the number one more spirit yeah. at school. Gonna stay that way. Yeah. And for CIF? Of course. Yeah. And then the team is going to win CIF. Oh. <laughs> the team that's going to win CIF. Maybe. I don't want to get my hopes up now. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll we hope so. Boy, okay. Uh, tell me, are you guys going to win the district cheerleading championships this year? We hope so. I say yeah. I, so, I hope so. Yeah. What is your secret plan? Oh. To bring, bring it? it? All right, <laughs> that's a good secret plan. Uh, how many runners do you think you've uh, s spirited on today? Wow, oh. a couple hundred. No. There's a lot the of whole, all the runners, all the runners that run, we spirit. Yeah, so. but there's like a couple hundred out here that we've seen so far. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what uh, group of cheerleaders are you in? Varsity, junior varsity? Varsity. Yeah. You're seniors? No, no juniors. juniors. <laughs> All right, two more years and one more year to try for captain, right? Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> I want to. What does a captain have to do? Basically, run and uh, take over when coaches isn't there. Take over. Mm -hmm. You think the runners enjoyed having the cheerleaders out here this year? Yeah. High fives and thank yeah. you. Like we help them out a lot. Yeah, it's fun. And it's it's fun. <laughs> this is my first year doing it too and like it's enjoying. It's fun. Yeah, some other spirited school should try to get the title of America's Finest Cheerleaders and cheer on the runners at the finish line because I hear no cheering up there this year is my the word. No. We're like I mean, the we're number one. one. <laughs> And they made the uh, wonderful sign that you've been seeing during the show t today. Chula Vista High School Spartan Cheerleaders. Yeah. Okay, what's one closing advice you might have for a younger cheerleader, other than maybe to come to your clinic? To never give up. To set your mind on, like, yeah, get um, have a goal and like try to reach it and don't give up. And do good in school because it does help out when you're done with school. <laughs> I know parents say this, but I'm seeing it too. <laughs> do good in school. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it's been great talking with you. We'll let you get back to the cheering and uh, donut eating and other activities here today. Making fun of the guys with the water and. <laughs>
<laughs> They're from the Ombus uh, Association. Ombus again this year, passing out the water in the uh, Gatorade. Delicious. If you're in a weird mood, Gatorade, this early in the morning and then a nice run, a, a half marathon, you'll never, you'll never have that same feeling again. Yeah. All right, go see me, number one. <laughs> okay, we'll see you soon. And we found two better cheerleaders in the last group. Would you say they were better? No, we're better. We're better. Yeah. You're better. Yeah. Because uh, why? We have more experience. Yeah, exactly. We're runners, let's go, runners. <laughs> Are you on varsity also? Yes. No, I'm on JV. You're on JV. Okay, so you are what uh, grade? I'm going to be a junior. Okay, and what what uh, level are you? I'm a junior and I'm on varsity. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Then you can you can try for a few years to get to be captain, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <Come on>. It depends. <laughs> Yeah. You think that's harder than just regular cheerleading? Yeah, because then you put more work, like you have, like it's not like more work, it's just that you be more dedicated, like a lot, and you have to be in charge of these girl, other girls, and like it's really hard. I'm not captain, but like, yeah, like Arlene over there is like, she's a captain. She's yeah. a good captain. Yeah, she's great. Like she takes care of us, she takes care of us a lot, she has like a lot of work. <laughs> How weak. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like their sign, the sign you've got? Yeah, it's very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we like it. That's right. Looks like the runners enjoyed seeing it too because some of them stopped and congratulated you. It looked like on their way up the last mile from here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what would be one bit of advice you'd have for an upcoming cheerleader except maybe to possibly come to the uh, camp you guys may put on for them? Hard. Work really hard. It's yeah. like even though people think it's like choosing is not really hard. It's it like, is. It's really difficult. Like you have to put your mind to it. Like they should come prepared and like work hard. Like, not think it's like sucking off. But, yeah. Okay. Well, it's been great chatting with you. America's top cheerleaders in action, including this segment of them from America's finest cheerleaders, the Chula Vista High. Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and we'll get back to the run in just a moment. And as the runners slow down a little bit, uh, looks like we have time to pull a few more cheerleaders away from America's finest cheerleading group, the Chula Vista High. And do we have three of the best cheerleaders here from the group? Freshmen. 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 So you're freshman cheerleaders? Yeah. Okay, what do freshman cheerleaders cheer for? For freshman football. Freshman football player. Freshman football. Yes. You know, I've heard of freshman basketball and yeah. like that, but I had never heard of freshman uh, football. Yeah. That's great. What is the one thing that's the hardest to do when you're out there cheering for them? Or cheering for runners. Um, what's the question? What is the one thing that's hardest to do when you're out there cheering for the football players or maybe the runners? Um, when the crowd is like booing us or something. Yeah. Like if the crowd's rude. You know, we need a good crowd. I think good cheerleaders. <laughs> Would you recommend that the uh, fan, uh, the uh, viewers out there, come and see you when you're cheering and cheer along with you? Most yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yep. We would love the support. <laughs> yep. When uh, are your games? When are the football games usually? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday afternoon. Yes. All right. Well, that sounds great. What is one bit of advice you would uh, offer to younger cheerleaders so they could become as great as the Spartans when they grow up? It's fun. Yep. Just work hard and you'll get be there. Confident, yeah. Be confident and believe in yourself and you'll go as far as you believe. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Well, that's great. Would you like to come again next year and be America's finest cheerleaders cheering on the runners? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I think course. it's real fun. Show the rest of the support. Uh-huh. Well, we'll have to reserve a spot here for you. Because you're great cheerleaders. You really are. America's finest cheerleaders. That's what the uh, trophy will say that the cheerleaders will get in the near future. Unfortunately, due to some technical difficulties, we do not have the trophy to present to them today, but we will present it to them sometime this year. Um, what uh, is your favorite subject in school? History. Mine would be probably math, even though I'm not that all that great, but math. I love history because I'm Mr. Person. So you guys uh, ever hear of the National Cheerleading Historical Society? Huh? Did you folks ever hear of the National Cheerleading Historical Society? No. Um, well, Colonel James Beal back there is keeping an eye on cheerleaders across the country. And I'm one of the people that help him in the West Coast. And we'll have to tell him about what great cheerleaders you have and maybe have some kind of a contest that you can get uh, enter, enter through National um, Cheerleading Historical Society. Um, how many on the squad? I would say like 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 something. Is that just the freshmen or all together? Freshmen, JV, and varsity. How many on the freshman squad? Eight. Seven. Seven? Oh. Seven, eight. <laughs> the, the, we work with JV. We work with JV. Yeah. Yeah. And I stunt too. We work at JV. And we cheer at varsity half games, like during halftime. Great. Is there one closing bit of advice on any subject you'd like to give our viewers? Um, people that want to be cheerleaders, do it. It's fun. Can support our runners. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That sounds like there's cheerleaders in the house. <laughs> okay, well, thanks a lot for being our guest today on Cheering Makes School Fun as we wrap up the run here from Balboa Park. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Some you. Support. Support. Thank you.
have had the run without some spectators. And here are three of the uh, spectators that have been standing around here where America's Finest Cheerleaders were cheering and the guys from Ombat were giving out the water. Do you think that you'd like to be a cheerleader someday? Yes. I wanted to be a cheerleader when I was six. I told my mom I wanted to grow to be a cheerleader. Well, if I was a girl, no. I might though, but n if I was really a girl, no. <laughs> well, that's putting it right to the point there, my buddy. Um, I was wondering, what do you think of the uh, cheerleaders from Chula Vista? They're great. I like them. They sing great, and I want to be like one of them. They do. Um, they have great dancing. They have great moves and stuff like that. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. Would you like to see them come back again next year and cheer on the runners? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I would. Yes. Did you have anybody that was running in the race today? Were you supporting anybody particularly? Yes. Who? My mom's friend, but I forgot her name. Oh, that's neat. Federal Boulevard, but I, I saw her go up there. Yeah, but... Did you have anybody you supported in the race today? Nope. Nope. Hey, you come down to Bobo Park much? Yeah, we come all the time until, we, until September 1st. Because we're staying at the rescue mission, they kick you out until 5.30. Yeah, we come here until 5.30 because they kick you out of the mission until 5.30. Then we go back and then they have to wake you up at 5 o'clock in the morning. They kick you out. Eat breakfast then they kick you out. Yeah, they do. Where do you guys go to school? We don't go to school until to 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 September 1st. And then we're going so, go to go um, to Idaho to so, start school. Oh. Three of us go to the same shelter. But I don't think he's going to move where we're going. He's not our brother. He's our friend. Okay, you're not their brother. You're their friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, guys, ever think you'll run in a run like this? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's going to be in a race or a cheerleader. I don't know. I might be a cheerleader. Yeah. Yeah. Get in the big race here, and you think you'd be real tired the time you got here? Oh, yeah, sure. Twenty, a two miles, a, two miles? What? Heck yeah. Miles. Yeah, I'll be sick and tired. I'll and I'll drink all of this water. Drink, pour it on. And that'll revive you, right? Yeah. All right. Well, it's been interesting finding out. Do you have one bit of advice you'd like to leave with our viewers as to... Just advice in general. Um, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, I won't give you any advice either than to watch each week, same time, same station, cheering makes school fun, where you meet terrific young people like these young people. And cheerleaders like the Amer America's finest cheerleaders, Chula Vista High School. Spartan cheerleaders. Thanks for being our guest today. You're so much welcome. Bye. Bye. Catch a couple more cheerleaders here. And this time we're going to go for the top because we have with us Arlene. And your title is? Captain. Captain, all right. So you have to crack the whip and say, come on, come on, just one more cheer. One more cheer for these runners going one more mile. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you were running in. You were running in the event, weren't you? Yeah, for a little bit. Just cheering people on, get some, lose some weight while I'm at it. Might as well. I mean, <laughs> hey. Um, tell me, what can we look for this year from Chula Vista? Um, we're looking forward to the football season and competition. 
Okay, gonna win competition this year? Yeah, first place. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and you're a senior. Yeah. So are you going to win um, best uh, cheerleader scholarship? The essay? Yeah, the essay, whatever we call it. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'll write an essay. All right. That's good. Good luck with that. Because we enjoy giving out essays around the... When it, when we don't give it out to not to Sweetwater District because they already have one. But I go to the mountain and desert schools and do the same thing. So that's all right. I know it's a lot of fun and a lot of fun for the judges to sit there and, oh no, it's so close. This is so close. So anyhow, what is the most uh, best advice you could have for a new cheerleader? Um, to try your best and don't give up. Don't be shy because children aren't shy. Like be outgoing and get into it more. And be spirited. Um, what uh, classes are you taking this year? What do you mean like what class? Well like uh, basket weaving, finger snapping, no, actually phys ed, uh, math. Oh, I have math, English, um, like history, I don't know which one it is yet, um, and like the regular classes. I have dance too, I'm a dancer, like tap, jazz and ballet. Is that in that uh, special dance academy they have there? It's, our school is SCPA, Creative and Performing Arts School, so like we have dance, we have art that you can do, but I do dance. How about you? Um, I'm going to be taking AP Stats, um, AP Government Economics, AP English, um, ASB, and Psychology. And that's AP as in applause, please, because it's the toughest. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, I wish you a lot of luck in your courses this year, and I wish you a lot of luck against who? Against Benita, because it's her homecoming game. Yeah. We hope you to beat him on our homecoming. <laughs> Gonna beat Benita at your homecoming. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a good one to beat them for. Oh, um, what would you like to accomplish most this year with the cheerleading squad? Um, unity, so we can, we need to have unity in order for us to like work together and win competitions. And win competitions. If we go to more than one. If you go to more than one. We might go to Texas, maybe. Texas to the big nationals. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to try. We got offered to go, like from cheer camp, we got offered to go. So we're going to try to see money to go. Okay. I'm sure there's a lot of people that would like to donate you money. But we can't ask for it here on the air. <laughs> but if any of you happen to have something in your pocket, and you would like to know what to do with it, give me a call here at Cheering Egg School Fun, a number show at the beginning the end of the show, and maybe I can tell you uh, what you could do with it. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. you wanna we really help need out. it. Okay, and uh, what do you know about your advisor, your coach? Our coach, she's the best coach in the whole world. <laughs> she's really cool. She's fun to have as a coach. Like, I'm glad we have a coach like her. She's really cool. Well, that's great, and that's a Sean that's been with us for several years. <laughs> so, here come the police to close off the official end of the race, and uh, I guess we can now take a sigh of relief that it's over. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot for visiting with us today. And thank you for visiting with us here on Cheering Makes School Fun. We just want to remind you to keep cheering! <laughs>
spin, Cheering Makes School Fun, the program that helps you improve yourself and find out about quality cheerleading and young people. This program is made possible by the prayers and support of cheerleaders and viewers through across the country. If you'd like to support or sponsor the program, contact the number on your screen now. Now we'll be seeing some of the people who make this show even better. is programmed into many markets. We thank our programmers for making this possible. We invite you to watch now Cheering Makes School Fun, produced by Jim W. Hawkins, bringing you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and more. Right here on your local cable station. It's produced by Jim W. Hawkins. Give us a call at the number shown on the screen with your ideas. I'm Jim W. Hawkins, your producer of Cheering Makes School Fun. Welcome to our special 100th show in the series of Cheering Makes School Fun. A special thank you to all those who have made possible our first 100 shows. On today's show, something very special, the 6th Annual South Bay Cheerleading Championships Junior Varsity Division. So enjoy!
center mat. We will have two performing groups for your entertainment at this time. First, we have the Junior All-Stars of San Diego. They've been in numerous NCAA cheering camps, including Putnam this year. They've competed and performed throughout Southern California for the last few years and, on their, and are on their way to Dallas, Texas for a national competition. They range from third through eighth grade and are from all parts of San Diego County. This is Excellence in Motion.
Division. The Junior Varsity Division. Third place goes to the Trojans of Castle Park High School. very much having our guests on cheering makes school fun today from uh, excellence in motion and here's a couple of the stars themselves uh, how are you today fine what do you attribute your great success and excellence in motion to huh what do you attribute <laughs> excellence in motion to How long have you been in the group? I've been here for two years. <laughs> I have a lot of people here I uh, came to see you, and you did a great job. Uh, I understand you're going on to Dallas uh, to the uh, NCAA championships. What kind of feelings do you have about that? We're very happy to be here. What grade are you in? I'm fifth. Okay, I understand they run from third grade to eighth grade. Uh, what, how big an area does it cover, do you know? I mean, as far as the schools, is it all the way from the Mexican border to San Diego? It is in San Diego, that's all. San Diego City. Okay, well, we wish you a lot of luck in Dallas, and we hope to see you in the papers as a winner. Uh, excellent in motion. We saw a little earlier on the show. Thanks very much for being our guest on Cheering. It makes school fun. Thank you. Okay, we got a, one of the guests from uh, so Sharing Big School Fun from uh, NCA All Stars, the Rebels. And who do you have with it? I'm Shane Carlson. And uh, what school do you go to? I go to University of San Diego High School. All right. Um, tell me, how long have you been in the NCA Rebels? Two years. And uh, what kind of experiences do you have going to Dallas? What's it feel like? Um, I don't know, you can't explain it. It's a big rush. Okay, you go, you think you'll do real well this year? We're gonna get it, no, we're gonna get number one. Yeah. Hey, right, that's what we like to do, confidence. We wish you a lot of luck and we thank you for being with us here at the South Bay Cheerleading Championships this year. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. Bye bye wraps up the sixth annual Cheerleading Championships Junior Varsity Division here on Churn Makes School Fun. This has been our 100th show. Thanks for joining us and join us every opportunity to get on your local cable station. We got spirit, yes we do. We got spirit, now you do. This has been Cheering Makes School Fun, the program that helps you improve yourself and find out about quality cheerleading and young people. This program is made possible by the prayers and support of cheerleaders and viewers throughout across the country. If you'd like to support or sponsor the program, contact the number on your screen now. program is programmed into many markets. We thank our programmers for making this possible. We invite you to watch now, Cheering Makes School Fun, produced by Jim W. Hawkins, bringing you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and more. Right here on your local cable station. It's produced by Jim W. Hawkins. Give us a call at the number shown on the screen with your ideas. This program brings you news of cheerleaders in front of the camera the scenes, how they do it, and with faculty members and others that like to get involved in school spirit also, plus wonderful citizens like Carol Lee on Amtrak who take their school spirit with them as they go. We give thanks to you for your prayers and supports for this program and invite you to support the program by giving us a call at the number address shown at the beginning of the end of each show. 
Howdy! It's time for cheering makes school fun. I'm your host and producer, Jim W. Hawkins, reminding you to keep cheering and uh, to watch this segment for San Diego High School with their guest tonight for a look at the San Diego High School Granite Hills game. We hope you enjoy it. And we'll be looking at the band, too. A terrific band from the I, IB school. And um, let's get started now and head down to San Diego High.
all the time we have tonight for Cheering Makes School Fun. We hope you enjoyed the program and will watch it every chance you get. We're on each week, same time, same station. So, till we meet again, keep cheering! <laughs> Cheering makes school fun, the program that helps you improve yourself and find out about quality cheerleading and young people. This program is made possible by the prayers and support of cheerleaders and viewers throughout across the country. If you'd like to support or sponsor the program, contact the number on your screen now. Now we'll be seeing some of the people who make this show even better.
Summers for making this possible. We invite you to watch now, Cheering Makes School Fun, produced by Jim W. Hawkins, bringing you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and more. Right here on your local cable station. It's produced by Jim W. Hawkins. Give us a call at the number shown on the screen with your ideas. This program brings you news of cheerleaders in front of the camera. Behind the scenes, how they do it. And with faculty members and others that like to get involved in school spirit also. Plus, wonderful citizens like Carol Lee on Amtrak who take their school spirit with them as they go. We give thanks to you for your prayers and supports for this program and invite you to support the program by giving us a call at the number address shown at the beginning of the end of each show. Howdy, I'm Jim W. Hawkins, your host and producer of Cheering Makes School Fun. The program brings you news of cheerleading, youth in the community, and school spirit. On this episode, we're going to take a close look at cheerleading, and not just any kind of cheerleading, but cheerleading nationals. From the COA, or Cheerleaders of America, we'll be looking at their nationals from Orlando, Florida. We're proud to bring them to you. Hope it gives you some ideas about what you could do to say yes to doing your best, and then think about going into nationals. And uh, we hope you enjoy seeing this segment of the nationals. We'll bring you the entire nationals on future shows. Until, um, until we see you again at the end of the show, keep cheering and enjoy the nationals. I'm at it. It's a support for my school. Well, that's a pretty clever uh, message on your shirts there. What does it say? You mess with me, you mess with the whole squad. That just shows that we're a team and we do everything as a team. Great. Okay, well, we're going to be looking for some great cheerleading from this group. We'll be uh, pre presenting another plaque down at 6th and Cedar Street a little bit later in the broadcast today. And we hope you enjoy it. It's coming up on time now for the 5K Run and Walk. So we'll be looking at the starting line in just a moment. Win here. Hello. some insight into the runners. What are you feeling just a few minutes before doing a 5K fun run? Warm. <laughs> warm. It is a little bit warm and humid today. That is a disadvantage we haven't had for, uh, oh, a few years back that I can remember, but it's back with us sure enough today. What do you do to prepare for the race? I've been running for a few months now, but I've been trying to get a little bit faster, so I'm going to look forward to that today. Today's my 49th birthday, so I wanted to get up and celebrate it. I well, a big cheering makes school fun. Happy birthday to you. Uh, where do you think you're placed? Uh, I think I'll be back before the last runner. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I see you're carrying a little water with you. I'm ready. That's important for runners, isn't it? 
Yep, stay hydrated. <laughs> okay, well, we, she may be taking off from us any second now here when, when the wheelchair runners get their five minutes in, and that's from the Cabrillo Monument Inn. This end is the Balboa Park Inn, and all the people you've been looking at are the runners for this contest. How many runners do you estimate were here today? It looks like there's about maybe a thousand or so here. I don't know how many started the half marathon, but it was pretty busy down at the expo yesterday, so it looks like a lot of people. And what was going on there? What was going on there? Just lots of people picking up their numbers and looking for goodies and things like that, talking and having a good time. <laughs> Great. Well, we're going to let you concentrate on getting down now to running, and thanks a lot for being with us on Cheering Make School Fun. at 6 and Cedar Street now. The uh, past, the, we saw the winning people from the 5K Fun Run coming in. They had a lot of fun, I imagine, doing it that quickly. They got down about 14 minutes there. And then we have another group of America's Finest City Cheerleaders Woo! this week. <laughs> we only have two squads in the whole world that are America's Finest Cheerleaders. And this is the other group. We'd like to present them a plaque for helping out today. Cheering makes school fun salutes the East Lake High School's uh, cheerleaders as America's finest cheerleaders for 2000-2001. And I see that you wore gloves just so you could protect the, protect the plaque, right? Of course I did. No, really, why, why do you have gloves on? Because um, we're handing out drinks and we're trying to keep them sanitary so we don't hurt the runners and our, like, ourselves. 
<laughs> what do you think you'll be doing today? I'm giving water to the runners. <laughs> <laughs> giving them a good day. <laughs> Why? That sounds terrific. Um, what brought you down here today? Mm, we're helping people to help the oh, team. We're going to cheer them on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cheer them on, huh? Do we have a sample cheer you're going to use? No, no not, not yet. yet. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess just kind of take it by ear there. Okay, well, that sounds great. And we'll let you get back to handing out the water, and we'll give you a little cover for the uh, plaque. And we'll continue our action here from 6th and Cedar Street for Cheering Makes School Fun. Sixth and Cedar Streets, where the East Lake High All America's Finest Cheerleaders are. We started with them about, well, having cheerleaders involved about 13 years ago, thanks to a member of the group that we have here now. And let's find out a little bit about that group. They're known as Ombat. Yes, thank you, Jim. Uh, we're all uh, we're a member of the Ombat organization, and uh, Ombat is the Old Mission Beach Athletic Club. It's a philanthropic organization that is uh, dedicated to support of youth activities and in the county of San Diego and the city of San Diego, and uh, a major supporter of the Park and Recreation Department of the city of San Diego. With me here this, this morning is my cohorts, uh, Dave, or commonly referred to as Guido. Hello. Hello. And Conrad. Hello. And Don Donnelly. Hello there. And uh, we've been doing this for many years, as you just said. And this is our location. And we are uh, very much uh, in, uh, involved in uh, all of San Diego activities uh, to the support of the city. And, and grateful that we are able to give our support and assistance when needed. Okay, well, it's great to hear a little bit about the group, and I want to thank you for introducing us uh, to a little behind the scenes of what we've been seeing for all these years. And uh, we want to thank you for watching, and invite you to keep watching as the runners go by here at 6th and Cedar Street for the 2000 AFC Half Marathon Run. Thanks a lot for being our guest. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Thanks. Appreciate it.
seen some of the cheerleaders in action. We have one of the parents of America's Finest Cheerleaders for this year with us. You are? Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, uh, you are? My name is Becky. And what's your daughter or son's name? My daughter's name is Jessica. And how long has she been on the squad? This is her first year. So it's her first chance to pass our water to the runners. Yes, it is. It's very exciting. <laughs> What's your impression as a parent? I think it's wonderful that the girls get involved with the community. I think they're enjoying it. I think they're really enthusiastic. They want to get that water into the hands of the runners. Have they done anything else for the community that you know of? No, not yet. They just started. Just started. Yes. They're a year-round school, though, I understand. Yes, they are. How do you uh, like year-round schools from a parent's viewpoint? Oh, I think it's great because I think if the kids are out of school, you know, more than a month or so, I think they get bored and they don't know what else to do. I think that's wonderful. Well, it seems to do a lot of good for their quality as far as cheerleading contests have been based on past uh, district contests. They always do a fine job there. And... Uh, I was wondering, what uh, are you looking forward to during football season? Oh, I hope that they can go undefeated and go up to CIF. That's what their goal is. And they will have a great team this year. 
play in the um, play in the CIF then. Yes, we're hoping. <laughs> That's always a big thrill. I remember uh, well, our other America's Finest Cheerleaders up the hill ways are from San Diego where I graduated. And I can remember my uh, senior year with Oscar Foster and people like that. And we made CIF. And then from the cheering standpoint, it was such an excitement to be involved down on the floor of the uh, sports. Uh, well, at that time, it was the California Western University. And now I understand it's a sports arena that they play their games at. So that must be a special treat for them. Yes, it is. It really is. They really enjoy that. Would you recommend uh, letting your kids start in cheerleading if they were interested to other parents? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. I was a cheerleader for eight years, and I enjoyed it. I really got a lot out of it. Well, where was that? Um, I cheered at Benita Vista High and at Southwestern College. Terrific. <laughs> what did you find was the difference between uh, high school cheerleading and college cheerleading? Um... I don't think there was really that much of a difference, you know, I mean, you're dealing with more mature group at college level and, you know, you don't get them to come along and cheer along with you as you do in the high school. That's the only thing that I saw was different. Well, that's terrific. Um, I sure want to thank you. And what, was, and, uh, what, uh, what school again are we talking about? East Lake High School. Go wow. <laughs> Okay, we'll continue with this coverage of the run from 6th and Cedar Street. We have someone here that has a contestant or runner, I guess I should say, inside the marathon coming up. Uh, who are you looking for? I'm looking for my dad. He's been doing this now for since I think 84. So um, this is special for him because he does it every year. Um, and he, uh, we just want to join him to help him finish it up. So, so you start here with a little less than a mile to go, right? Right, exactly. So <laughs> you can look. Five k. You did the five k. Yeah. How was the five k this morning? It was great. My goodness, but the clock on the wall tells me we're out of time for this episode of Cheering Makes School Fun. I'm sure glad you're able to join us, and hope you'll join us again regularly, same time, same station, on most of these same cable outlets. We've been the guests of the 2000. AFC Half Marathon Run for San Diego, California, a benefit for the American Lung Association. And we're glad you could join us and meet America's finest cheerleaders for this event. They're from San Diego High and East Lake High in Chula Vista. I'd like to say adios now and keep cheering. We This has been Cheering Makes School Fun, the program that helps you improve yourself and find out about quality cheerleading and young people. This program is made possible by the prayers and support of cheerleaders and viewers through across the country. If you'd like to support or sponsor the program, contact the number on your screen now. Now we'll be seeing some of the people who make this show even better. is programmed into many markets. We thank our programmers for making this possible. We invite you to watch now Cheering Makes School Fun produced by Jim W. Hawkins bringing you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and more right here on your local cable station. It's produced by Jim W. Hawkins. Give us a call at the number shown on the screen with your ideas. This program brings you news of cheerleaders in front of the camera. Behind the scenes, how they do it. And with faculty members and others that like to get involved in school spirit also. Plus, wonderful citizens like Carol Lee on Amtrak who take their school spirit with them as they go. We give thanks to you for your prayers and supports for this program and invite you to support the program by giving us a call at the number address shown at the beginning of the end of each show. 
Howdy, I'm Jim W. Hawkins, your host and producer of Cheering Makes School Fun. Welcome you to our 421st edition of the program that brings you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and youth in the community. We'll be especially looking at, cheer, at uh, youth in the community, rather, and school spirit on this episode as we look at the 53rd edition of the Maytime Band Review. We'll be looking at uh, some great music from the Marine Corps Recruit Depot. And uh, it's always a treat to have the Chula Vista Herald Trumpeters on the show. They'll be also seen, as well as some of the awards from the Baytime Band Review. Sit back, relax, and enjoy cheering McSchool fun. Where is the next generation of women leaders? The ones who blaze trails and fire our imaginations. Who laugh at words like can't and never. Where are they? The same place they've always been. Girl Scouts. Where girls grow strong. Call 1-800-GS-USA for you today and mentor someone remarkable.
the national anthem, and please remain standing for a salute to the flag. With our national anthem, the Marine Band of San Diego.
Marshall this year. Edie is huge. She's the hardest working person on the face of the earth. She makes this parade run. We owe her a great attitude and thanks. And, of course, Miss National City, Naomi Ramos, the pretty and lovely Naomi Ramos. Hey, Barbara Rick Rockwell, I'd say, nice to meet you. Will you marry me? But I uh, guess not. Uh. Also, I'd like to introduce Larry Wright, the general chairman of today's review. And he's going to present, be presenting a Trump. We're going to start out by giving away the host band trophy. This trophy goes to the host band of our parade today, and that trophy goes to, can I have a representative from Sweetwater High School for the host band trophy? Let me get somebody from Sweetwater to come and take this trophy. Then again, then again, maybe not. Okay, hang on to that, Miss National City. We're going to do them later. All right, everybody, you ready for your award? You know, it's all very interesting. Are you ready for your award? All right, let's get busy. We've got a lot of things to do here. We're going to have fun in spite of it all. Okay, we're going to move on first now to uh, our first category of awards. It's for the MACE Award. This first category is G2. It's the MACE Junior High or Middle School Award. Participants, finalists in this category are... Chula Vista Middle, Castle Park Middle, Benita Vista Middle. Can I have representatives from all three come down front here? Go. Here we go. In third place in this category with 87.5 points, Castle Park Middle. In second place, come on right up here. Bring your award with you, sir, right up this way. Right up this way. Stand on the one that says number three. All right. On to second place. Second place in this category with 89 points. Second place goes to Chula Vista Middle. Which means in their very first parade, their very first Maytime Band review with a score of 91 points. Benita Vista Middle gets the first award. Come on up. Up, up, up top, right on the very top. All right, take your pictures. The whole of trophies up high. Be proud of those. Those are great. You guys won. Congratulations, guys. Thanks a lot. Great job by the junior high and middle school base category. We move on now to the senior high base category. Participants and finalists in this category are Bonita Vista High School, Hilltop High School, Notre Dame High School. Could you have could we have three high? With a score of 90.5 points, Hilltop High School. With a score of 94 points, second place goes to Notre Dame. And of course, with first place goes, with 95 points, goes to Benita Vista High School. drum majors. In this category, the finalists are Tetzloff, Lemon Grove, and Oak Middle. Tetzloff, Lemon Grove, Oak Middle. Third place is scored 
1.3 points, and it goes to Tesla. In second place, with a score of 88.4 points, Oaks Middle. category for military drum major comes up and finalists in this category are Montebello, Eastlake, and Rosemead. Montebello, high school third place, 88.3 points, Eastlake. I'm so embarrassed. Thank you, sir. Uh, second place, 88.4 points, very close. 88.4 points was scored by Rosemead. And with 94 points, first place belongs in total to Montebello. In this category, the category of E2, in this category, the finalists are Oak Middle, Foothill Middle, Cox Intermediate. Foothill, Junior Higher Middle School, 72.2 points, got third place for Cox Intermediate. That's the most. Say goodbye for this episode of Cheering Makes School Fun. We've just seen the fourth of a four-part series on choices from Father Joe Carroll's young people at St. Vincent de Paul Village and Toussaint Teen Center. We hope you've enjoyed making the choices with them. And that you'll make a choice to watch us each week, same time, same station on most of these cable outlets. We'll be looking for you again soon, so keep... We This has been Cheering Makes School Fun, the program that helps you improve yourself and find out about quality cheerleading and young people. This program is made possible by the prayers and support of cheerleaders and viewers through across the country. If you'd like to support or sponsor the program, contact the number on your screen now. Now we'll be seeing some of the people who make this show even better. is programmed into many markets. We thank our programmers for making this possible. We invite you to watch now Cheering Makes School Fun, produced by Jim W. Hawkins, bringing you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and more. Right here on your local cable station. It's produced by Jim W. Hawkins. Give us a call at the number shown on the screen with your ideas. This program brings you news of cheerleaders in front of the camera. Behind the scenes, how they do it. And with faculty members and others that like to get involved in school spirit also. Plus, wonderful citizens like Carol Lee on Amtrak who take their school spirit with them as they go. 
We give thanks to you for your prayers and supports for this program and invite you to support the program by giving us a call at the number address shown at the beginning of the end of each show. Howdy, I'm Jim W. Hawkins, your host and producer of Cheering Makes School Fun. Welcome you to the show that brings you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and youth in the community. We'll be looking at youth in the community and school spirit as the bands present the 53rd Annual Maytime Band Review. We'll be especially centering in on the awards ceremonies. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some really great young people who deserve their awards. All right. Joe Teams High School, three finalists in this category. Those finalists are Roland, Montebello, and Mayfair. <laughs> Roland, Montebello, and Teams High School. Third place, 77.65 points goes, third place goes to Mayfair. to pay for third place. Come on up here to... Oh, well, I'm sorry. Let me interrupt the action here. Okay, second place. Second place with 79.15 points belongs to Montebello. Second place, Montebello. And first place with 80.80 points that's Roland High School. Okay, everybody smile for the cameras and a big round of applause for these the drill teams high school category. Thank you very much. We move now to the auxiliary units, junior, high, or middle school. These are for schools with an enrollment up to 1,099 students. In this category, the three finalists are Foothill Middle, Oak Middle, and Rancho Del Rey Middle. In third place, 77.95 points. Third goes to Rancho Del Rey Middle. In second place, 82.45 points. Well, that was scored by Foothill Middle, giving them second place. Foothill Middle. Which means with 85.9 points, Oak Middle gets first place. Way up on top there, Captain. Holman High, give everybody a big round of applause. These guys work hard. Excellent, thank you very much. These are the auxiliary units for high school or middle school enrollment. Over 1,100 students. Finalists in this category. Chula Vista Middle, Memorial Academy, and Montgomery Middle. Well, I think they want Chula to win. Let's see here. With 78 points. 78 points was scored to get third place for Memorial Academy. In second place, 82.4 points. Second place is occupied by Chula Vista Middle. Come on, come on, up here. Wicky, wicky, up here. Let's go. He's the winner, right here, ladies and gentlemen. A big round.
round of applause. And thank you all very much. Thank you. Put up the 2,000 students. A little bit higher, a little bit larger school. Auxiliary units, uh, C4 is the category. The finalists in this category are Notre Dame, Temple City, and Mayfair. Notre Dame, Temple City, Mayfair Place, 62.8 points. This category's third place goes to Mayfair. In second place, 85.4 points were scored. Second place, Notre Dame. They came all the way from Temple City to score 86.755 points and win first place, Temple City. <laughs> There's your winners in this category, the auxiliary units, high schools, and all the way up to 2,000 students. Thank you. How many more of these do we have? Lots and lots. Okay. More auxiliary units, this is for enrollment in high schools between 2,000 and 2,174 students. Finalists in this category, Burbank, Eastlake, Mar Vista, C3, no, C2, whatever. This is high school units enrollments between 2001 and 2,174, third place. Well, they scored 78 points, and they are Burbank, third place. Right over here, please. And on number three. Thank you. Second place, 80, 80, 80.80 points was scored by Mar Vista. And for 85.45 points, first place is awarded to East Lake. Very pretty ladies. Come right up here on top. Right up on top. Don't be shy. There's the winner in the category auxiliary units, high schools 21 to 2174. Right here. Big round of applause for everybody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They work hard. They deserve it. Let's go. That's right. Thanks a lot. The 25-24 of this high school size. These are the auxiliary units that are finalists in this category. Listen up, Castle Park. Listen up, Montgomery. Listen up, Antelope Valley. Castle Park. Right here. Thank you. Second place. Second. Second place, 79.75 points. Second place is owned by Castle Park. second place and they get this stair right down here and in first place it took 82.35 points to do it but they scored it and they are montgomery taking first place there's your winners from montgomery right up top round of applause everybody for the auxiliary units in this category And thank you very much. Okay, auxiliary units, the really, really big high schools. These are high schools over 25, 25 in enrollment. In this category, finalists are Roland, Montebello, and Alhambra, Hembra. Roland, Montebello, and in third place, 65.50 points. Third place is Alhambra's, Alhambra wins third place.
with 77.60 points. Second place goes to Roland. And from Montebello, 86.65 points goes first place, Montebello. And here are your winners in this category. I'll tell you one more time. Big round of applause for all these ladies that worked so hard. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. We're going to call in all the category participants in this category, and we're going to award participation trophies as well as first, second, and third. All of the winners from participation participants in this category are Foothill Middle, Lemon Grove Middle, Rancho Del Rey, Tropico, Tesplot, Conk, and Oak Middle. Yeah. 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 Okay. Bunch of people here. First we'll do the participation trophies. We'll thank you for participating. We're here to give you a trophy. For participation this year, is also, let's see, in this category are Foothill Middle. Foothill Middle, come and accept your participation trophy, please. <laughs> Lemon Grove Middle. <laughs> Tropico. Come and get your trophy from the ladies, from the Miss National City, please. And Rancho Del Rey Middle. There's your participation trophies. And now first, second, and third. With 84.25 points. Third place goes to Kronz Intermediate. There you go, step on the one there that says three. In second place, 85.85 points. Second place goes to Tetzloff Middle. Come on, these guys over here. Can you right over here and stand on the second place position, please? And scoring a very high score of 90, 91.75 points. First place is awarded to Oak Middle. There are schools with enrollment over 1,100 and over, of course. All the participants I'll name in this category, then we'll give away participant trophies, then third, second, first. All the participants speak are Hilltop Middle, Castle Park Middle, Kusara Middle, Memorial Academy, Montgomery Middle, Chula Vista Middle, Mar Vista Middle, and Benita Vista Middle. Trophies, participation, and we thank you very much for participating in this year's event. Participation trophies go to Castle Park Middle, Hilltop Middle, sorry Miss Natural City, I'm rushing you, Hilltop Middle gets another participation trophy, Kisera Middle gets another participation trophy, I hope I said that right. Another participation trophy this time goes to Memorial Academy. And the participation trophy goes to Montgomery Middle School. Which narrows the field down to the top three. Well, thank you all for your participation in this year's parade. And now, in third place, scoring 82.55 points. Third place is awarded this year to Benita Vista Middle. Come on over here. Right over here. Thank you, sir. In second place. Well, they scored 87.40 points. And you'd be happy to know that second place goes to Chula Vista Middle. Come 
my guys over here, right this way. Right over here on second place podium. Right over here. And in first place, scoring 88.40 points, points Marv Vistamillo. Right up on top, wave to the cameras. Everybody, big round of applause for Marv Vistamillo and the other other guys here. <laughs> Just the middle of Benita Vista Middle. Thank you guys for coming. Okay, we move on now. We get to the senior high schools. Got to the senior high schools. This is the enrollment up to 2,000. 2,000 students in this category. Participants in this category are Rosemead, John Sweat, Temple City, and Mayfair. Rosemead, John Sweat, Temple City, and Mayfair. Participation trophy this year goes to Mayfair, and thank you for your participation in this year's event. A third place trophy this year goes to, with 84.95 points, third place goes to John Sweat. Have we got a representative from John Sweat? No? Okay, we will award them later because they had to leave. And second place in this category, second place awarded to the score of 88.10 points. 88.10 points was scored by Rosemead. And over here, second place. And with 90 points, even 90 points got got scored by Temple City. That gives them first place. Temple City wins this one. There's your winners in that category, the senior high band, small schools, right here, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Thank you all. Thank you for coming. Senior high bands next. We're enrollments of 20, 2001 to, to 2174 students in this category. Participants are, participants are Mar Vista, Burbank, Eastlake, Hilltop, and Arroyo. Participation in this year's event. First participation trophy goes to Arroyo. Second participation trophy goes to Mar Vista. Have we got a representative from Hilltop High School here? I think we're missing a representative from Hilltop. We've got, we've got East Lake and Beta. Burbank and East Lake. Have we got somebody from Hilltop? Oh, there's somebody from Hilltop. Okay, we thank uh, Marvista and Arroyo for participating this year. In this category, third place, scoring 87.1 points. Third place belongs to Hilltop. Right over here. Second place, 88.7 points. Second place belongs to Eastlake. And with 92.15 points scored, Burbank gets first place. Right up top. And there's the senior high band, enrollment 20, 2001 to 2174. A big round of applause for these guys. We're getting down to the end here now, folks. We move on to category A2. This is the senior high school bands in Roma 2175 to 2524. Participation in this, in this category. All the participants, please send a representative down here. Let's have a representative from Montgomery High School, one from Capitol Park, one from Chula Vista, one from Antelope Valley, and one from Southwest. In this category, go to Southwest. Yeah, Daddy and Antelope Valley. Down to the winners, third place with 87.25. Third place goes to Montgomery High School. Right over there. Well, they scored 89.9 points. They wound up in second place. They are Castle Park.
Right over on this side, guys. Right over here. And of course, with 90.95 points, you got it. First place goes to Chula Vista. Come right up top here. And a big wave for the fan crowd and a big round of applause for the guys that won all these awards. Everybody give them a big round of applause. They worked hard. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. Out of the Marine Corps, I think. These are for schools with enrollment of 2,525 students or more. Participation in this category. The participants are Roland, Los Alamitos, Montebello, Alhambra, San Pedro. Okay, in this category, participation awards go to San Pedro. We thank you for participating in this year's parade. Now on to the winners, the third, second, and first. Third place, 85.9 points scored by Alhambra. Right over here. Right over here on the third place spot, please. Thank you. In second place. They scored 87.8 points. They are Roland. And in first place with 93, a very high score, 93.3 points. First place goes to Montebello. I'm right up on top. Smile for the cameras, and these are the big high schools. Give a big round of applause. They deserve it, they earned it. And thanks for coming. Marching Excellence Trophy to the drill team with the highest score in classes E1 and E2. The winner is not eligible for a class award. This is the Tom Leonard Marching Excellence Trophy. They scored 81.10 points. They came a long way. They won it. They are Temple City. And there's the winner of our Tom Leonard Marching Excellence Trophy, Temple City, everybody. And I'd like to thank Miss National City. Everybody give Miss National City a lovely round of applause. She's a, she is great. She worked real hard to give away all of the awards. Miss National City, Naomi Ramos. She's the best working, hard, hardest working lady. Got a special award this year. This lady I got to tell you about. She got a special award from the governor of California for being the hardest working senior citizen in the, in the whole state. That's Edith Hughes right there. Everybody should work that hard. She's amazing. She's an amazing lady. She's my idol. She's going to give away the R uh, Edith Hughes Auxiliary Unit Awards sweepstakes. This goes to be the best auxiliary awards, classes A4 through D2. The Edith, uh, Edith Hughes Auxiliary Award Unit seek sweepstakes in these classes. Well, they scored 90.5 points. They win the Edith Hughes. They are Rosemead. <laughs> Winners of the Edith Hughes Auxiliary Trophy in that category. One more on Edith Hughes Trophy to give away. This one's in the Auxiliary Units categories C1 through C3. They scored 88.75 points. I expect to hear a lot of yelling on this one. This award goes to Bonita Vista High School. I thought so. There they are, the auxiliary units from Bonita Vista. Where is the next generation of women leaders? The ones who blaze trails and fire our imaginations. Who laugh at words like can't and never. Where are they? The same place they've always been. Girl Scouts, where girls grow strong. Call 1-800-GS-USA for you today and mentor someone remarkable. ¿Dónde está la próxima generación de mujeres líderes? 
las que rompen barreras e iluminan nuestras imaginaciones. ¿Quiénes se ríen de palabras como no se puede y nunca? ¿Dónde están ellas? En el mismo lugar donde siempre han estado. Girl Scouts, donde las niñas se fortalecen. Llama ahora al 1-800-478-7248 y orienta a alguien extraordinario. It looks like we're out of time according to the clock on the wall. We want to thank you very much for joining us for Cheering Makes School Fun. This has been our 422nd edition. Of the program that brings you news about cheerleading, school spirit, and youth in the community. We especially want to thank the 53rd Annual Maytime Band Review for allowing us to cover its award ceremonies. And on future shows, you'll hear the music of the Maytime Band Review. Also, I'd like to remind you, if you'd like to participate in the show, you can do that in August each year with the AFC Half Marathon Run. You'll get a free t-shirt like the one I'm wearing or similar to it because it changes each year. And we'd be glad to have you come and cheer on the runners and other activities at the AFC. Drop us a line or give us a call at the number shown at the beginning and the end of each show. Until we can meet again, I just want to remind you to say yes to doing your best and keep cheering. We got it! Yes, we do! We got it! This has been Cheering Makes School Fun, the program that helps you improve yourself and find out about quality cheerleading and young people. This program is made possible by the prayers and support of cheerleaders and viewers throughout across the country. If you'd like to support or sponsor the program, contact the number on your screen now. Now we'll be seeing some of the people who make this show even better. by Jim W. Hawkins bringing you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and more. Right here on your local cable station. It's produced by Jim W. Hawkins. Give us a call at the number shown on the screen with your ideas. This program brings you news of cheerleaders in front of the camera. Behind the scenes, how they do it. faculty members and others that like to get involved in school spirit also. Plus, wonderful citizens like Carol Lee on Amtrak who take their school spirit with them as they go. We give thanks to you for your prayers and supports for this program and invite you to support the program by giving us a call at the number address shown at the beginning of the end of each show. Welcome to Borrego Springs and cheering makes school fun. I'm your host and producer, Jim W. Hawkins. You ask, what happened to the cheerleading get up? Well, it got up and went in favor of flower power. So we hope you enjoy watching today's show. Our special for the next couple of episodes will be coming to you from Borrego Springs. We will bring you the entire Desert Festival Parade. In the background, we have some great music to warm up the fans and get them all ready for the parade. And now let's uh, take a moment and we'll be right back with more from Borrego Springs. Let us have a moment of silence for the firefighters and those folks that lost their lives last year in the fire. So if you'd please join me after the 99 flies over. The 39th Borrego Days Festival and Parade. The California Highway Patrol is proud to serve the desert community of Borrego Springs. And those chips are going to be down here any minute. Meanwhile, let's give another wave to the flying 99s. Flying high over Borrego. Bye. 
<laughs> That's right. They're not dropping anything, so don't worry. You can put your umbrella away. They're not going to drop anything on your head. This is our community of Borrego Springs. The CHP is here to serve your traffic concerns. The primary mission of the California Highway Patrol is to ensure safety and provide service to the public as they utilize our state highway transportation system. The California Highway Patrol's objectives are to reduce traffic collisions, enforce the traffic laws of the state. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They also provide service and assistance to the motor public. I give them a big wave. Another governmental agency. You know, I can't compete with the sirens, folks. All right, let's give them a cheer. Yay! You, if you're interested in becoming a CHP officer, you might want to contact them. Stop by the nearest Highway Patrol office. Seat belts save lives. Please remember to buckle up. Borrego Springs is 3,000 people strong year-round. In the winter, we welcome back our friends from all over the world who come here to enjoy the warm weather and the serene desert. Our welcome banner and all our banners are carried by our students from the Borrego Springs Elementary, Middle, and High School. 85th Armor Battalion of San Bernardino. They, along with the Borrego Veterans Detachment, are a rich reminder of those who are fighting for our country today. Despite political opinion, I believe that we can't wait to celebrate their homecoming. Please give them a hand. behind the 185th Armored Battalion is a banner from Palm Canyon Resort and also from Viejas Casino Outlet Center sponsored by Borrego Springs Bank followed by Palm Canyon Resort they're a proud sponsor of this year's parade and following the banner is Southwest High School Eagle Band from El Centro 
The drum major is Alex Ramirez. The auxiliary corps is Captain, Captain Monica Reyes. The drill team captain is Marcella Bravo. Miss Erica Antunes is the advisor for the attached units, and Dennis Pond is the band director. They, the march they're playing is the Klaxon, composed by Henry Fillmore, and I'm going to be quiet and let's enjoy him. Southwest High School Eagle Band from El Centro. All right, coming up here is all from the Stripping Company. Our honorary mayors, Sam and Astrid Webb. Cars provided by your friends at Alford Distributing Company, proud distributor of the Ann Hauser Bush family of beers, serving Borrego for 54 years. Let's hear it for our honorary mayor, Sam and Astrid Webb. You too. Nice car. All right, thanks to Alfred. All right, coming up here, Rotary International Borrego Springs is a great supporter of the parade each year. Many volunteers help to make this parade possible. All right, coming up here is the Borrego. This is the Miss Borrego Court, and you know. They didn't give me names for anybody. So, you know, I'm going to do what I do, which is the uncommon. I'm going to come right up on the float there, guys. You're going to give me just a minute to get up? Yeah. I'm going to get right up on the float here, and I'm going to let these ladies introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Christina. Hi, I'm Whitney. I'm Bree. Hello, I'm Myra. Hi, my name is Monta. Good afternoon, my name is Mary Lou. Hi, my name is Carla. Hi, my name is Nicole Hollowell. I'm Belen Navarro. And our new Miss Borrego this year is Stacy Sharon. Thank you for coming out and supporting the town. All right, a big thanks to the ladies in the court. We're going to have a great parade. Thanks for in Thanks for indulging me because I'm kind of crazy and I don't mind. I'll just get right out here in it. Thank you, ladies. Aren't they beautiful? Give them a big hand. Hey, Kathy, now I'm selling soda. Choice sodas. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's crazy. Don't hurt me. All right, this next banner is from Fred and Louise G have been and continue to be incredible supporter of Borrego Days, dedicating their time and resources to such programs as Clean Up Borrego. Next we have the Borrego Springs Performing Arts Center. No. Education blooms at the Borrego Springs Elementary. Borrego Springs Elementary students read over one million pages last year. Providing education is proving that education is blooming in Borrego. Student council officers and members represent their fine school today. Teachers, parents, volunteers in the community work together for success. Let's hear it for the Borrego Springs Elementary School.
Don't they look great? And what a great float. Hey, you know what? These guys have truly got flower power. What do you say, huh? Give them a big hand for all their hard work. and some activity going on. We'll, we'll announce them again when they get down here, but this is the Borrego Springs Performing Arts Center dance class. Dances age two to adult under the direction of Carol Stalter will show off their dancing skills with a happy song. They're gonna go disco hippie. Dance group. Dancers age two to adult under the direction of Carol Stalter. They're gonna be showing off their dancing skills with this happy song. Disco Hippie by the group Play. And they say, we're filled with flower power. All right, let's hear it for those dancers. Some real disco hippies out there. Yeah. And look, it's the mom squad following the dancers here, right? Yeah, the, the real proud sponsors there. All right, moms, looking good. Hey, coming up here, we've got the Borrego Springs American Legion. The Borrego Springs American Legion post 853 is saluted by the Red Hat Society chapter 33. 87 and they're called the Red Hot Mamas. That's hat mamas now, but they're looking red hot to me. And the first car driven by Bob Jewers, who's commander of the American Legion Post here in Borrego Springs. Riding with him are Abby Barker, Deva Enke, Marion Landis, and Dorothy Moore. The second car is driven by Harley Hartman. Riding with him are June Anderson, Faye Nielsen, Rita Hartman, and Wendy Quinn. Woo, look at those red hat mamas. All right. And the last car is driven by Chuck Ingebretson, past commander of the American Legion. Riding with Chuck are Ruth Turner, Lynn Aldis, and Lynn Benavides, the queen mother of the red hot, it says, red hot mamas. All right, let's hear it for the American Legion. All right, look at this. Look at this coming up here. Borrego Coyotes AYSO soccer team. The Borrego Coyotes is our local under eight division team with the Julian American Youth Soccer Organization. These boys and girls compete every Saturday morning in Julian from September to November. They just returned from playing. Coaches are Jim Dice, Michael Wilson, Elaine Tulving, and Nathan Bogart with Erica Vanderheide as assistant coach. All right, let's hear it for those kickers. Woo! All right, follow these guys. La Casa del Zorro invites you to enjoy its four diamond luxurious accommodations, tennis, golf, archery, desert tours, fine dining, and much more. You can reach them at 760-767-5323. And here in the tour car, my good friend John Doherty, this Ford excursion is ready to take you on a trip of a lifetime to the Anza Borrego Desert Park, Salton Sea, and many other desert hideaways. Operated by our Four Diamond Resort, La Casa del Zorro offers a variety of tours that are available seven days a week and all year round. And right behind them is Megan Kinsley, Miss Hamul, 2004. Thanks for coming down. All right, and these crazy guys are the Al Barton Lizzie's Parade Unit. These spinny little cars, it says. Are these spinny? Yeah, these spinny little cars are coming your way. They're quarter-scale models of the 1914 Model T Ford. They're the pride and joy of their drivers, who are members of the Al Bar Shrine Ken Lizzie Parade Unit. Yeah, those little cars bring a smile to my face every year. They bring a smile to your face every year. The Shrine is the world's greatest philanthropy and is, monastic, is a monastic-affiliated organization.
organization with well over half a million members of North America alone. The Shriners are easily recognized by the red fez they wear and are completely dedicated to the support of 22 Shriners hospitals for crippled and burned children. Those hospitals are located throughout North America and all medical assistance given to a child in these hospitals is at no cost. All right, and here we have the Neighborhood House Association, Borrego Springs Head Start. These folks are helping to give our kids a great start. Let's give them a big hand. And don't they look sweet? We're a little bit out of order here, but that's okay. You know what? Coming up here is a banner by SDG&E. They are a proud sponsor of our day's parade. But following that SDG&E banner is this crazy guy, this crazy guy on a unicycle. Actually, he calls it an airframe cycle. This is Ted riding his airframe bicycle. A wonder of modern technology, it uses air as the frame material, reducing weight and wind resistance. He's also sporting the world's lightest and best fitting shoes. Well, by golly, they're painted on. Hey, I bet he can't ride that bike with no hands. I don't know, what do you guys want to bet? 100 bucks we got over here. He says he can ride it with no hands. The hundred, he says. It's in the mail. All right, let's see it. Feet of a lifetime here. Oh my goodness! With no hands, an airframe bicycle. Hey, that's Ted. All right, following Ted here is the Old Bones Car Club. First year for the Old Bones Car Club from De Anza. Charter members all went to Lakeside Elementary School together. In the 1950s, for people interested in the car club, call Morgan at 767-4347. We got a 57 Chevy pickup with a small block 350. That's right. 50 she 57 Chevy Bel Air with a small block 350. A 66 Corvette Roadster with a big block 427 and a 68 Camaro with a 383 Stroker. Yeah, listen to that engine. Give a big hand to the Old Bones Car Club. And if those Old Bones aren't careful, they're going to get pushed off the road by the West Coast Mini Club. That's right, West Coast Mini was started in 2003 with fun in mind, open to all Mini Cooper owners who enjoy driving and getting together with other Mini Cooper enthusiasts. All right, Minis, welcome back. Let's give them a big hand. That's right, somebody just said, you guys are like keychain cars, right? Yeah, the little thing hangs off the end of your keys. When you're done, you just hop in and drive away. Thank you. 
serious competition with the Shriners, you know? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> What do we got coming up here? That's a strange looking vehicle. I think that's Foolish Irish Pub and Grill. You, you suppose those are Irish folks in there? You know, I'll give you my best Irish joke. You want to hear it? An Irishman walked out of a pub one day. I said, an Irishman walked out of a pub one day. Probably was Hooley's. This is Hooley's paddy wagon spreading fun and cheer located in Rancho San Diego at Hooley's Pub and Grill. Down here spread this fun. There's that guy right now. All right, well, bringing up the rear there is the Borrego Springs Middle School. The 111 member Scorpion Marching Band is making their 12th appearance in the Borrego Days Festival Parade. This is the Desert Springs Middle School. The tall flag corp is under the supervision of Miss Janine Meathy and Miss Heather Meathy. The drill team is under the supervision of Mrs. Sue Smith. The Scorpion Marching Band is under the direction of Mr. Gary Cobble and led down the street by drum major Raquel Solaris. Let's hit it. All the way from Desert Springs. Let's hear it for the Scorpion. is from Arlen Knudsen Insurance Agency, one of our proud sponsors of the Borrego Days Parade. And coming up next is Borrego Springs Chamber of Commerce board members. We've got Jim and Becky Braden here in the lead car. have a parade I agree well thanks to the Chamber of Commerce thanks to you guys coming along here look at this who do we have here why it's John and Rosa Bittner Chamber President and he's saying give the microphone to her she's definitely my better half <laughs> yeah now we know who the real president is. we've been looking at Borrego on today's cheering McSchool fun Borrego Springs, California. A great bunch of cheerleaders there, as we will see in the parade. And a great bunch of, of uh, support auxiliary units and bands. And just a lot of fun in Borrego, California. It's a great place to visit. Hope you get over there soon. And uh, if you need more information, give us a call or call their Chamber of Commerce in Borrego. Now let's uh, say adios and remind you that the parade is only half over. We'll see more of it next time here on Cheering Make School Fun. Seen each week, same time, same channel. See you soon and keep cheering! We got it! Yes, we do! We got it! This has been Cheering Makes School Fun, the program that helps you improve yourself and find out about quality cheerleading and young people. This program is made possible by the prayers and support of cheerleaders and viewers through across the country. If you'd like to support or sponsor the program, contact the number on your screen now. 
Now we'll be seeing some of the people who make this show even better. is programmed into many markets. We thank our programmers for making this possible. We invite you to watch now Cheering Makes School Fun produced by Jim W. Hawkins bringing you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and more. Right here on your local cable station. It's produced by Jim W. Hawkins. Give us a call at the number shown on the screen with your ideas. This program brings you news of cheerleaders in front of the camera. Behind the scenes, how they do it. And with faculty members and others that like to get involved in school spirit also. Plus, wonderful citizens like Carol Lee on Amtrak who take their school spirit with them as they go. We give thanks to you for your prayers and supports for this program and invite you to support the program by giving us a call at the number address shown at the beginning and the end of each show. It's time again for Cheering Makes School Fun. I'm your host and producer, Jim W. Hawkins. That's San Diego's Mr. Cheerleader, as proclaimed by the DCA. And um, we'd like to invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the next 30 minutes with us as we present the Borrego Festival Parade, Part 2, for this year from Borrego, California. We hope you enjoy the program and that you enjoy seeing some of those great young people in action during the parade. Now let's go to Borrego Springs and take off where we left off last time. So we'll see you soon. And uh, first the parade. Keep cheering in parade time. All right, the Mustang convertible that they're riding in has been provided by Arlen Knutson Insurance Agency. And following up there is Valley Environmental. Thank you to Valley Environmental for donating our trash receptacles for this event. Each year they donate their resources and money to our community. always looking for an opportunity to come out here on the parade route and since I don't have you in my script I don't know who you are. Carol Wells from Lakeside. Carol Well from Lakeside and what's your horse's name? This is Prince. Prince you're a beauty. All decked out in flowers too. 28 years old and still walking the parade route like like a filly. Thanks, Carol, for being out here. All right, here we've got, again, I don't know who people, look, you know what? This is our Grand Marshal. My goodness. It's the bee. All right. Jerry Mathers, our Parade Grand Marshal, better known as Beaver, Cleaver from the Leave it to Beaver Show. You know, when I was a kid, you were my favorite. Every day I came home from elementary school, I'd have my peanut butter and jelly sandwich and my chocolate milk, and I'd watch Leave it to Beaver. Yeah, he says, keep doing that. You bet. You know what? Where's Wally? Eddie Haskell! Then that rascal, Eddie Haskell. You know, I always wanted to be like you, but the older I got, I think I ended up like Lumpy, you know? All right, the Beaver Show always embraced good American family values, and I always kind of felt like Borrego Springs was sort of like that, too. Thanks, Jerry, for being out here. All 
right, well, you folks are going to hang in here with me because I just realized I'm missing an entire page from the script here. So I'm going to be winging it, but that's okay. All right, we have some miniature horses here led by, led by who knows who. Maybe if I come out here, they'll tell me who they are. See, I'm working from a script that's, that's missing a page, and I don't know what's going on. Hi, I'm Jamie, and this is Barney. He's a driving apple, and we actually are with the miniature horses back there. All right. Miniature donkey and horses. All right. Thanks for coming down here. It's good to have you. Here's a banner by De Anza True Value, one of our one of our proud sponsors today. All right, this is Miss Ramona. Tell us your name, dear. My name is Sarah McAllister. All right, Sarah McAllister, Miss Ramona. Thank you for being here today. like more of the Red Hat Brigade here, right? Red Hat Mama's coming in. All right, followed by San Diego, the book, brought up by B-U-H-S, Wildcat Band from Brawley, California. Let's hear it for Brawley Wildcats. These are the Brawley Union High School Marching Wildcats. Let's hear it. got the flower power this year. Give them a big wave. hometown and enjoy Borrego Days, our 39th annual. Our next banner is sponsored by John Ryan's Crosswind Steakhouse. I got a good idea that's where those women's pilots, those flying 99s ended up out there at the airport. So go on out and have some, have some steak, have, a, have your favorite libation and see John Ryan's Crosswind Steakhouse. Let's welcome the Roadrunners of Lincoln Elementary School, precision marching drill team led by Captain Karina Sanchez. Lincoln Elementary students range from first to sixth grade and are marching at 120 beats per minute. That's the beat of the human heart. They performed and are winners of the Brawley Cattle Call Best Drill Team Trophy, the El Centro and Calexico Christmas Parades, Holtville Carrot Parade, Imperial Fair Parade, and the Silver Spur Rodeo Parade in Yuma, Arizona. Yeah! Let's hear it! The Roadrunners drill teams won first place at every parade they've ever participated in this school year. The Roadrunners drill team is the reigning 2004 National Championship Precision Drill Team. They're under direction of drill instructor Dan Garcia. 
Concert Hall. A few of their accomplishments last year included a sweepstake at Paris Christmas Parade, first place at the Indio Tamale Festival Parade. So let's hear it for Palm Desert Middle School Panthers Marching Band. Lakeside 2004. Miss Lakeside 2004 is Nora Canine, an 18-year-old freshman at San Diego State studying to be a nurse. Her first princess is Marie Madsen, an 18-year-old freshman at Grossmont College studying drama and the arts. But you know there's a third gal there and I don't have her on my script and it's just not fair to leave you out. I'm gonna let him tell you. I'm Ashley Payton, Team Miss Lakeside. <laughs> thank you to the court from Lakeside and thank you, Tom. All right, let's hear it. All right, our next banner is from Carly's Restaurant. Carly's is also a proud sponsor of today's parade. Open for lunch and dinner, live entertainment, a great atmosphere and great food, thanks to Carly. And coming up here, these rough and rumble looking folks are from Smoke Tree Ranch and Horse Rental. Smoke Tree Ranch offers a full educational program from guided desert trail rides where you learn about our history and geology to riding lessons, both Western and English, to our Institute for Equine Encounters where the horses become the teachers and no riding is involved. Rogers riding Ember, a purebred Arabian. Mary is riding Comet, a Morab. Cody is riding an Arabian named Slim. Andra is riding Spats, also an Arabian. And Dwayne is riding Big Mac, a quarter horse. All right, next in our parade is Cable USA. That truck is driven by Rick Harris. Rick is the general manager there at Cable USA, and these guys are serving our community. Cable USA would like to welcome everyone to Borrego Days. Be sure to stop at the Cable USA booth and find out about basic and expanded cable, digital cable, and high-speed internet. And my correction, that's Joe driving that truck. How you doing, Joe? Thanks to our cable guys throwing out candy for the kids. Thank you. Have a big hand for him. Here's the 
Fuego Desert Natural History Association and Desert Nature Center giving us a preview of the flowers that bloom in the spring from the cover of their great wildflower brochure. The 35-year-old Community Resource is also reminding parade goers to be a fan of Abna with a cool memento. So if you got your fans out there, wave them. If you didn't get one, visit the Nature Center after the parade, and they'll be glad to help you out there. All right, this banner is from Rams Hill Country Club, another proud sponsor of our parade today. Rams Hill Country Club is under new ownership and it's in good hands. The new Rams Hill owners are looking forward to a great future here in Borrego and are excited to be a part of this community. All right, coming up next, the Wilson Warriors Marching Band. The award-winning 120-piece Wilson Warriors Marching Band from Wilson Junior High and at school in El Centro under the direction of Mitch Sturman with auxiliary units conducted by Alejandro Galindo and Becky Lamone performing. That's right, I said 120 pieces, folks. Let's hear it for Wilson. and Warriors, thanks for making the trip over and making it a great Borrego Days. Those Wilson Warriors are followed by another banner from the Orange Book, a proud sponsor of our Borrego Days Parade. And coming up here, we've got the Borrego Springs High School Rams cheerleaders and pep squad. You know, they're full of spirit. They had the game of their life the other day. I think it was 96 to 52. 92 to something. There's always somebody in the crowd. Let's get our numbers straight. It was 92 to 52. It was a smear. All right, fighting Rams. Go, Rammy. Go, Rammy. All right, let's have a cheer. On Gawa, Ram Power.
on cheering makes school fun. Remember, Borrego Springs is the place to visit year-round. You get a really interesting variety of seasons when you come to Borrego Springs. Come right now in the middle of the season for plays at the uh, Performing Arts Center, dance classes, Cinco de Mayo, and more. We'll be looking for you soon, so we'll be back with some coming attractions. Thanks for visiting with us in Borrego Springs. Flower power to you.
the program that helps you improve yourself and find out about quality cheerleading and young people. This program is made possible by the prayers and support of cheerleaders and viewers throughout across the country. If you'd like to support or sponsor the program, contact the number on your screen now. Now we'll be seeing some of the people who make this show even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 